So the East is an interesting thing because in a sense, the stones of the East represent the, the stones of the Southwest and North or the directions, sort of. Okay. But it's more like we're now in the hub of the wheel. So we've, we've finished our healing journey. The East means it's no longer about our healing journey. Okay. We're done. The East is now how do you basically move around the wheel but from a place of freedom, the place of the visionary, the one who can right, dream the world into being, who can still experience wounds, still experience, you know, uh, ancestral stuff, still experience the soul lot. In other words, still experience each direction as in the theater. Yeah. But transmute it in a way quickly into, you know, uh, creation. Mm -hmm. So the East is like this, the three stones of the East are a kind of a, a dance, a kind of fluid dance, mm -hmm. changing places in a sense constantly, and the and and the way that we talk about it from that visionary point of view is the first stone of the East is the stone that. Rep that represents that which we in the moment identify with. Yeah. Okay, so I am a shaman, I am a father, I am this, I am yeah. that. Okay? Yeah. The second stone of the East is in that moment identifying that which we disidentify with. Yeah. I'm not this, I'm not that. Mm -hmm. The yep. third stone represents that which we have transcended. In other words, I'm completely over it. I don't have a thought here nor there about it. I'm already beyond it. I get yeah. it. You know, that kind of thing. So in my, in my Mesa, um... So in my Mesa, the first stone represented my power and identifying, you know, as a, as a powerful healer, right? Mm -hmm. Which means that at any moment I can disidentify, right? That it dances down to the, yeah. or am I? <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'm not, right? Yeah. The second one represented the idea of, well, I'm not a bad person. I'm not an asshole. I'm yeah, that know. was what I had in mind. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then it's like... Or am I? Yeah. Or am I? <laughs> right? um, so, and then the, my third stone represented the wild, untamable feminine in that I... I all, I'm over being a man. I, I'm over the old concepts of masculine feminine. I, hmm. You know what I mean? Like, that's all bullshit. You know, it's the wild, untamable feminine that, that really is, you know, in charge and, you know, is what the earth's all about. And, you know, the, this whole thing about, you know, men running everything and, you know, the sort of paradigm that ran, yeah. like, over it. Even though I'm a man, I've transcended it. I'm not, I don't care about my manhood. I, I just, doesn't matter. Yeah. I don't, I, I don't, I don't identify with either anymore. No. Because, you know, 
so so th- those are so so okay. so how that translated to my stones like for example if somebody picks the first stone having to do with power it 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 could be that in most cases they're not owning they're not owning their power they don't see themselves as very powerful no okay mm-hmm. this when they pick up the second one Usually it has to do with self-judgment, guilt, shame. In other words, I am not a good person, you know, somehow. Yeah. And the stone is helping them, right, to clear that and say, yeah, you're a good person. And the Mm -hmm. first one to say, yeah, you're powerful, you know. (laughs) know, You're not an asshole, you're powerful. Um, And then when they pick the third one, right, it's usually about sort of, again, moving beyond the, the old notions of what it means to be a man or a woman. Like, you know, I'm a woman, I should be delicate and sweet and kind and mm-hmm. vulnerable, or I'm a man, I should be, you know, yeah. tough and in charge. And okay. So it's all about, in, in that case, for me, when they choose that stone, it's about embracing the, the mother, the true, powerful, wild, and, the, you know, the, the feminine in it's way more powerful than the masculine will ever be. That really is the thing here on the planet that matters most, mm-hmm. not the masculine. The masculine is subservient to that at best. So, those are those are mine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, it's it's a we it's sort of nebulous. It's it's hard to kind of grasp because it's the East. You know, it's not. It's sort of no longer a cl- cut and dried like. This is what I know. I need to heal, and I'm gonna. Heal. It's more like, wait, what? You know, and then they, and then they move around. So it's, yeah. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> so the question becomes, <laughs> for you, what is? What are your? How is? What is that to you? What are those stones to you potentially? Here? Well, the second one. I have been thinking was quite similar to, but the the easy one was that identify with that I I I am I am a good person and I'm not a good person in the second one right, that that was something I came up with like you know, came to me like in three four hours ago right. Oh okay. But but that that's just very. It's not so solid. Yeah, it's kind of yeah because it's they're sort of like two sides of the same coin. So maybe that's one of your stones, whether or not you're a good person, just like mine. Maybe you yeah. know one of them represents that self judgment. Yeah. Right. Am I good or am I bad? That's judgment, right? Yeah. So that's fine. Now let's. But we've got two more. So let's see if there's something else that. Um, yeah. You would potentially. Uh, I have the third one was really difficult, right? Yeah. Um. Oh, but, but if it is transcendence, I. What what I do identify with is actually that I am human. Ah. Sometimes. Okay, so you're just human. Yeah, I'm just human. I'm, I'm not. I'm. I had experiences where where I thought I was a leaf, <laughs> so but 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 yeah. No, that's good. That's good because that's very limiting. In yeah. other words, you're you're playing the role of a human at this yeah. point in time, but you're 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 really all things. As yeah, yeah, and I know you. Know, I could say that I I am. Uh, made by atoms, which I know I am not, and I know that, you know, you can always, <laughs> we really don't know. <laughs> no, but that's the point. That's why I say to, to identify as human is really quite limiting. Yeah. yeah. I'm only human. I'm only human, you know. Yeah. In flesh and blood, and, you know, it's, yeah. it's like, no, not as a, sh- as a shaman, we're way more than that, number one. And so is everybody, frankly. We're stars, we're planets, we're... Yeah. We're stones, we're plants, like we we have all that in our bodies even. So so we've been 
all those things as as consciousness. We yeah. are consciousness that can play any has played every form and is currently in a human form. Yeah. But uh, so I think that's pretty good because that that's a, that speaks of you know the of limitation. Right. In other yeah. words, of smallness, you know. So yeah. someone picks that stone, you could start to think maybe they are not seeing the fullness of who they are. Maybe they're thinking too small. Maybe they're, mm -hmm. you know, they're they're not owning, you know, their connections to yeah. wisdom and to other things, you know. So so I think that's a really good one for the first stone. You know, I am I am human. I identify as human. Yeah. But you know, what is that? That's that's not very empowering. It's not very exciting, right? It's not really no. So uh, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Mm. And the second one and and uh, I do not identify with me being evil. I, right. I know I can be it, but <laughs> okay, right. But that's the self judgment. <laughs> but then, but then I, but then I, then that's I, the then I go back and apologize, and then I'm good again. But by the way, back to the first one. Yeah. The flip side of that are the people who think they're not human. Like I'm, a, I'm, I don't belong here. I'm a star being. Yeah. I don't know how I got in this. This is a mistake. Yeah. It's a nightmare. Get me out of here. Yeah. So, <laughs> right. So yeah, so the second stone is the evil, you know, I'm not evil, right? That's the same thing as saying I'm not a bad person, whatever, it's just yeah. words, right? But but yeah. basically, you know, it's the judgment thing, right? It, whereas to shamans, that doesn't even register as a thing, because no. there is no, shamans evil only lives in the minds of men, so it's not a independent thing. No. And, and therefore... There is room for it in the theater, and yeah. there has to be, and the villain, right? And so yeah. it's not bad. It's good. It's wonderful. It's terrific. Yeah. Without it, there's no theater. So we love evil, you know, yeah. which is just bizarre, right? But that's the point. It's like, so, you, 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 yeah. So you're going to play the role, as all things to all people, there'll be times where you, you play the saint and you play the devil. Yeah. And um, it's all to serve whatever is happening, right? And so, yeah, it's good. That's good. So people will choose that stone when they're truly, you know, uh, vexed by these concepts, you know, when they truly have difficulty, right, thinking of, you know, I can't create because I'm, evil, whatever I create will be evil. I can't. You're mm -hmm. telling me to be a, a free and empowered soul dreaming the world into being, but, you know, what if I fuck it up? What if I destroy yeah. the world? Yeah. So they need to clear that. See, they need, that needs to be killed. Yeah. See, the East is about the, the big death, right? So in other words, everything we're talking about basically needs to be killed. Yeah. And reborn. Mm -hmm. You know, again. And, and so it's very much like in, in that sense, it's like going through, you know, the east to the, the west is the death, yeah. but it's the death of the ancestral association. The east is the death of all association, right? Yeah. The, 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 the south is the wounds and, and go across, and the north is the wounds that become soul, you know, become soul loss, right? Yeah. So they related to each other. Yeah. And, uh, and, you know, when you're when you're in the east and you're meant to be, you know, uh, creating, and you go, well, I can't because it could be bad. Yeah. And then somebody comes to you and says, "Yeah, what the hell did you just do? That's bad." Mm -hmm. Now all of a sudden you're wounded. You're in the south. You're you're being abused. You're yeah. being you know, betrayed. So, or you're betraying yourself. So. That's why the East kind of contains the possibilities for the rest of the wheel. Yeah. And, uh, but, uh, yeah, um, but we want to work with it. We want to work it because the East is truly about, about this dance 
this play of consciousness, right? The lila, mm -hmm. the the dance, the maya, the dance of of you know of of creation. Mm -hmm. You know, is it is it real or not? And does it matter or not? And why do it? And it's just because it's vision. It's why not? I have a, I have an idea. Yeah. That's all conscious, you know, consciousness was sitting in the void and went, huh, and boom, the big bang happened and the universe happened. And it's like, okay, now we're, now we're, we're, we're doing it. Yeah. We're in it. We created it. So that's the idea. Um, but to, but to be fluid, right. And to, and to, and to, and to, it's sort of like, Playing like chasing, being chased around by a puppy dog, right? And occasionally it catches you and, nip and bites your mm -hmm. ankle, you know, and nips at you, and, and then you try to get away again, and it keeps chasing you. It's sort of like the East is the world is your creation chasing you around as you come up with new ideas. Yeah. So it's very playful. But it's scary and exciting, you know, it's, it's, it's like, again, being, or playing maybe a puppy's not, maybe a mountain lion, maybe a big jaguar you're mm -hmm. playing with, yeah. or, a, or a wolf or a lion, and sometimes when it catches you, it hurts like hell, right? <laughs> yeah. But it's playful, you're still playing tag, you know. So this is that idea that we've, we've been stalking power in the healing journey, and now power, you know, has been stalking us. Yeah. And now, as a visionary, you know, vision is is stalking you. You you can't you can't not dream the world into being. You're doing it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so the question is: Are you paying attention, or are you just randomly doing? It? Yeah. This is good. You recording this? Yeah. I'd love a copy of this because this is the best I've ever heard myself. Do <laughs> I think I finally got it. <laughs> so I, I need to hear. I got I need to hear this again. Yeah. Uh, anyway. <laughs> oh, man. I, I had this.